the experiment is pre emphasis and de emphasis in general the pre emphasis is a process of uh, uh, enhancing the amplitude of the modulating signal in a fm transmitter circuit at high frequency because it in high frequency the transmitter the fm signal is more prone to noise compared with low frequency so in order to improve the signal to noise ratio we are enhancing the amplitude on the transmitter side using the pre emphasis circuit right in the receiver side we are using de emphasis circuit to de boost the amplitude of the uh, modulating signal so let us uh, study the circuit connection for pre emphasis so here we are using a bc107 uh, npn type uh, bjt and uh, we are connecting a uh, uh, 10 kilo ohms resistance uh, from the collector terminal and a 10 kilo ohms resistor from emitter to ground and uh, the capacitor 0.1 microfarad to be connected to the base an input signal of 2 volt peak to peak is applied to the base terminal and uh, 4.7 microfarad is uh, connected to the collector terminal to the output and uh, the supply voltage of 12 volt is given to the uh, uh, voltage divider biasing circuit and uh, inductance of 750 milli hindry it is uh, given to the vcc and the other end of inductance to the resistor 10 kilo ohms so we are going to observe the output at the collector terminal between collector and the ground so the model graph the output observed the trend of the curve we are going to plot the frequency response of the output voltage versus uh, the frequency we are going to vary the frequency from a lower frequency range to a high frequency range the output voltage or the output voltage gain will increase at uh, between low frequency to high frequency and again it will tend to decrease after a certain point this is the output observed for the pre emphasis case in the de emphasis side again the frequency is vary from low frequency to high frequency the trend of the curve is decreasing the output voltage is decreasing with respect to the frequency so this is the design for the pre emphasis so the design frequency is calculated as r by 2 pi l so which is 2.1 kilohertz so the measured 3 decibel frequency will be equal to 2.1 kilohertz for the pre emphasis and for the de emphasis the measured 3 decibel frequency will be 2.1 kilohertz so now let us uh, study the breadboard connections so we have bc107 transistor whose emitter connection it is near to the protrusion so emitter base collector in the clockwise direction so from emitter we have connected a 10 kilo ohms resistance to the ground and uh, from the collector we have connected another 10 kilo ohms resistance from base we have connected 8.9 kilo ohms to the ground and again from the base another 15 kilo ohms resistance to vcc from the base we have connected input coupling capacitor 0.1 microfarad the input signal is fed to the other end of the 0.1 microfarad and from the collector we have connected 4.7 microfarad the other end of 4.7 is connected to the output so we have kind of measuring output from the other end of 4.7 to the ground and uh, the inductance inductance is set to 750 milli hindry the positive of the inductance is given to the vcc other end of the negative terminal is connected to the other end of the resistance r3 now we are feeding the input signal so initially we can set the input signal as 1 kilohertz frequency and 2 2 volt peak to peak we are using channel 1 for feeding the input signal the and we are going to observe the output so the output signal measured is 1 kilohertz and 2 volt we are observing the output signal at 1 kilohertz and 2 volt now i am going to increase the frequency of the input signal through the function generator so when i am increasing the frequency so we can observe the output amplitude peak to peak amplitude of the output signal is increasing so it is gradually increasing when i am increasing the input frequency so now I as we gradually increase the uh, frequency the amplitude is keep on increasing so i have reduced the scale of the output signal in the oscilloscope in order to accommodate in the screen so now i am increasing from 100 hertz to kilohertz range so i am increasing till 12 kilohertz 14 15 kilohertz the frequency again it starts decreasing starts decreasing according to the 
according to this trend it starts gradually decreasing the preemphasis circuit now verify that the 3 decibel frequency of 2.1 kilohertz the gain observed is 3 decibel by plotting the frequency response for the preemphasis circuit so in the de-emphasis circuit the input is given to a 75 kilo ohms resistance in parallel with a 0.001 microfarad capacitor and output is observed from uh, the capacitor 4.7 microfarad to the ground so the purpose of the de-emphasis circuit is to de-boost the amplitude of the input modulating signal so let us see the breadboard connections so we are giving the input signal to the 75 kilo ohms resistance and uh, the 0.001 microfarad is connected as a junction between the capacitor the resistor and then uh, it is other end is grounded and output is measured at the 4.7 microfarad capacitor so we are giving initial setting of 100 hertz and 2 volt peak to peak from the function generator and observe the output which is nearly 100 hertz and 2 volt now the frequency response analysis is done by varying the frequency of the input signal and we are observing the output amplitude is decreasing slowly it is decreasing when the frequency of the input signal is increased gradually so now I am increasing from 100 Hertz to 15 kilohertz range so we can observe that the amplitude of the input signal is gradually decreased so we can tabulate and observe the amplitude versus the voltage gain versus frequency and calculate the 3 decibel frequency which is to be calculated as 2.1 kilohertz.